This is a Zenith 21 FJP22 round tube color CRT and this was destined for the trash and then I got some uh, cataract video requests or removing the safety glass so instead of just dumping this in the trash I decided I would do a safety glass removal video um, and even though it's destined for the trash I'm not going to let the air into the tube I'm not going to pop the nipple and let it fill up for safety reasons this is supposed to be an educational channel hopefully hopefully these videos help other vintage TV collector enthusiasts actually fix their TVs sometimes and popping the tube would be unrealistic creating a, a unrealistic safety situation just for the sake of doing it I'm not gonna do that so we're gonna leave this thing fully evacuated in vacuum mode and we're gonna play it safe just like you would if the tube was not going to the trash I sort of question even doing another one of these cataract service videos because I've done so many of them in the past and then I came across a video of somebody washing their car that had 2.4 million views. So I guess people like these kind of clean up videos where something's cleaned or repaired or restored. And then I came across a channel that is solely dedicated. All the videos are simply the safety film being pulled off of new displays like when you get a new phone or you get a new car and you pull that plastic film off the display that protects it from being scratched and transport so I figured how bad could another safety lens removal video really be so there's two different styles of bonding agents that are used in these CRTs. That's the kind of epoxy glue stuff between the safety lens in front and the actual CRT. And this is the Xena style, the Sunshine CRT, which is uh, a kind of a yellow, gets a, a yellow ring that starts on the outside and moves in. And this one is really not bad. This is more like a soft gel silicone type bonding agent. The RCA style is looks more like mold or crust or just gets really bad. These never seem to get horrible until the stuff starts turning to liquid and dripping down into the bottom of the cabinet kneading everything up. So the way you remove these is totally different. The RCA style you use heat and pressure and this style, the Xena style, you just use a, a wire, a guitar string, a piano wire, just a piece of really tough wire, and you cut it off. Um, it says Zenith right on it, 21FJP22A. So first thing I'm going to do is get it upside down in this trash can and just let it bake in the sun. It's pretty hot today. You just want to try and soften that up as as soft as possible. So start by taking this tape off. And yeah, you can see this is the jelly one. This is nasty to work with. And definitely make sure you wear your PPE safety gear. This is, uh, these do implode. Um, Few, a few well-known vintage TV collectors have had these implode. I recently saw a video of someone removing safety glass without what I would consider enough PPE. Um, definitely safety glasses, full body cover if possible because if this thing implodes it's going to spray you with glass. And unless you like being sprayed with glass it's better just to cover yourself up and walk away from it uh, unhurt if it does yeah this is this is the RCA style would be dry it'd be completely the opposite of this this is and this stuff will start to 
ooze and get more liquidy and get into the bottom of the cabinet so and it stinks and it's corrosive this is like horrible this is one of the worst ones I've seen I mean this nastacular yeah this looks like it was starting to run out yeah. should be easy to uh, cut this sucker off though with a wire but the cleanup is gonna be something else you know what this thing has absolutely become a runny gooey sticky mess in the hot sun and I mean it's it's one of the worst I think I've ever dealt with on that level I mean I don't know if you can see down here how the the it's this is what it does in the TV and then it'll run out onto the chassis or the cause the particle board to fall apart or whatever but um, I'm going to cut it off which I probably shouldn't probably shouldn't do but hey we got uh, several million views to rack up here Can't let those people that pull the protective cover off of displays show me up, can we? I'm going to wear, I got safety glasses on, but I'll wear my Kevlar helmet with the face shield on it here. Kevlar helmets are uh, popular right now. They seem to have worked their way into the nightly news headlines. So, this is like a absolute sticky nightmare. I got all junk clothes on so I could care less. Ooh. God, this is gross. The question is, this is a uh, guitar string. See it right here? This is just a guitar string between two pieces of wood. Now the question is, it's pretty hot. I'm having trouble keeping my hand on it. Is it just re Oh crap. Is it just rebonding right behind where I'm cutting it? You know what? I want to screw that back on. I don't want to pull that through. Okay, I don't know if I'm quite in a good spot where you can see what I'm doing here. hell is that noise? Oh man. This freaking thing is having its way with me here. I'm gonna have to pull it through now. I don't know if 
you can see what I'm doing here. I'm working it around in a circle because I broke one side of it off. Freaking camera shadow is in the way of the picture. Let's see if I can. Professionalism. I'm getting this bonding agent all over everything. if I can almost just wind it around in a circle. This is, this is horrible. I'm complaining a lot. Do you like it when I complain? Does it turn you on? done see the fingers and pop wonder if that scratched a lot of work. It's only really, well, it doesn't look like I scratched anything. Okay, time to put that in the trash and change these gloves. So, I don't know if this is actually like showing up here, but like this, everything's ruined from this sticky stuff. Like what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag, but it, it, this is, this is, I mean, be prepared if you get one of these. Jelly CRT. So I ripped the socket off the CRT so we would have that. Like I said, the CRT was dead. High hour, two of the guns were dead. Let's see if what dissolves this stuff. This is just brake cleaner. 
Well, that, I wouldn't quite say that dissolves it. This thing is horrible. I might just throw the whole thing in the trash. I usually like to say, save these safety lenses, but I don't know. There we go. It's only, the old sticky part's only really around the edge. Seems like it rolls up kind of like a fruit roll up. Yeah, that was a brilliant statement. Let me try and. This is horrible. I think what might actually work on this is just unleaded gasoline. Pour out about $25 worth here and uh, just paper towels and just kind of go to town. Oh yeah, this totally dissolves it. Look at that. This turns it into liquid. Oh boy. So yeah, let me clean this off. I don't know how well it's showing up there because it is perfectly clear. The RCA style is like a smoked glass, a lightly smoked glass, but the Zenith Sunshine CRT is perfectly clear. Uh, the petrol cleaned it up pretty nice. I don't like using that. I guess I could use goof off or something, but goof off likes to goof off or lacquer thinner or acetone. Probably any of those would break this stuff down. But uh, the I don't know, they're probably all equally as unsafe and carcinogenic. Not that we really care that deep about safety, but here's the CRT. And here's the slime. It's a lot like that stuff the girls like to play with. That slime, I think it's called. Anyway.